Gentlemen, thank you very much for this interview. Hard Rock Cafe closing, um, you know, a lot of people really feeling this, but also, I mean, we're still feeling Sam the Record Man closing, you know? I mean, how does it feel that this area is changing and it's kind of losing a lot of its musical history? Everything goes in circles and cycles, you know? Our signs were circles and music will, you know, always be around and now it's coming back to the, the neighborhood and the young entrepreneurs and musicians just keep it alive in the city all the time. What do you think about, with, and give me your thoughts about the Hard Rock Cafe closing too, because it's been here in so many years, so many different reincarnations, but we always know this as the Hard Rock Cafe. It's been here my whole life. I've, I've come when I was younger. I've still come, in the, come to the area and it's always been here, so i be sad to see it go. So you guys are, are here, but also I had a chance to see, there's a booth here. We could get some sort of memorabilia when it comes to Sam the Record Man. Well, the, the Sam the Record Man signs are being reinstalled in Young Dad Square this year. It's uh, sort of tribute to uh, my father. It's like hanging his shirt in Maple Leaf Gardens is now going to be hung in Young Dundas Square. And we're really excited about the signs sort of being iconic symbols for the city. And we're going to be selling shirts here. All the proceeds are going to Covenant House tonight because we want to be able to support the community uh, as we've always done um, throughout the history of our family. Talk a little bit about um, some of the memories that you have for the Hard Rock, for Sam the Record Man, this area, and some of the biggest artists in the world going through Sam and hanging around in this area. Well, this was a center of the, the music industry. This was originally the Friars Club, and there was a cog door up the street, and the Town Tavern, the Colonial, and you know all the artists, you know, made their ways from the clubs to the store and back again. And it was just a, really an exciting time for the city. And, and uh, this is a great tribute to everything that happened in the past and going forward. You probably hear a lot of times because I know for me, my memory is skipping school, going to Sam the Record Band, and going through those albums until I found. That, that that one that I went, wow, love that. I mean, a lot of people must talk to you about that. Well, we're just talking to some of the artists that are here, and they're saying they used to go up to the third floor and find all the treasures on the third floor. That was my, my father's joy. Uh, Cosmos probably remembers going there when he was a kid and hanging out on the third floor. And, um, you know, the, the, the store was, was really a, a major part of this, the community, and we, uh, we want to keep it alive with the signs going up. Uh, and. Uh, keep the memory of Sam the Record Man alive in the city. Well, I don't want to take in too much away from you guys because the party is kicking in. Guys, thank you so much for this interview and thank you for what your family has done for music in this area. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.